Hello everyone, it's Robin here. And can we say hello fall? Because today is officially the autumn equinox and I am so excited, bust out all the pumpkins. Yes, we can officially do our fall season and you know, because I know unofficially we've been, we've been already doing it because we all love it so much, but we can officially begin our autumn season and I'm super excited. So because of that, today I am going to take some fun scrap of paper, check it out. We're gonna do a little fall crafting here in my happy planner because we are creating a fall bucket list because I don't wanna miss out on any of the fall fun. So let's get started. We are ready to say goodbye to our summer bucket list and make a new one for fall and I'm really excited. So let's just take a look at this. I made this out of scrapbook paper. If you missed that video, I will link it down below, but we're also gonna do the same idea again today. So just to say, let's just say a little, a little goodbye to summer. Um, I had so many fun things in my bucket list. Go to the lake, bury your toes in the sand, and we did that. Read a book, have a backyard barbecue, we did that. We went to the movies. We watched a movie outside, that was really fun. One of my favorites, though, was have a family a summer party, and we did that because Aiden slept over with us for a few days while Holly and Dan were at the hospital busy having, you know, a baby. <laughs> so this was super fun. So I didn't make the popsicles. I didn't make any lemonade, but I did make a lot of iced tea, so it kind of counts. It kind of counts. But uh, yeah, this was super fun. So to make our fall bucket list, I have some new scrapbook paper that I just picked up from Amazon, and it's Happy Fall, and I'll take it out of this wrap so that you can see it. I love having scrapbook paper around because it's just, it's, it's, a, it's great for a quick pop of color. Um, it's good for your planner. And it's also good for scrapbooking and journaling. It's just fun to play with. I'll also be using this fall sticker book from the Happy Planner because this is where I'm getting my bucket list, my bucket items list, my bucket list items from. And I'll be pulling in some boxes, and I'm going to use my fall boxes, my fall colorful boxes. I've already used some of these in a recent uh, plan with me, so we'll be uh, using some of these. Or I think I use these in my currently. That's what I did. I used them in my. No, I didn't. I used them in plan with me. I've already used some of these, and I'm going to use some more. So, let's get to it. I have my scrapbook paper here, and I just love this. It's the Happy Fall Collection from Echo Park. I got this off of Amazon. I'll uh, put a link down below if I can find it so that you can uh, get this if you like, but there's a lot of fall scrapbooking paper out there. Now, sometimes I use scrapbooking paper that come in the pads that you can get like at Michael's and Joann's on sale where the other side is white, and that works really well for a bucket list because when you add your boxes down, it's on white and your stickers, and it's, you can easily see what's going on. This is double-sided, see? So we're gonna have a little trickier time here um, trying to figure out which ones we wanna use because some of the opposite sides are a little busier than others. Like that one might be hard to see boxes on. Look at how cool these are. Some of these would work really well, actually. Um, I'm just giving you a brief view of all of the fun in here. What's nice about the scrapbook paper, you can use it in your planner and journal, but you can also use it in um, your memory keeping too. So these are some boxes, which is really fun. Um, so I'm not gonna necessarily use that because it wouldn't really cut right. I wouldn't use this one for the same reason. So that's out of the loop and so is this one, but the designs are really cute, right? Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at these designs. So what's fun though about these, you know, two-sided papers. See, this would be okay as an inside, but as an outside, I don't think this will cut right. So I won't use that either. But it's fun because you never know what's gonna be on either side. And then the last page is a page of stickers. And these stickers are really cute. And what's nice is they all coordinate with each other. So if you're doing uh, like a memory keeping album or any other kind of journaling or even in your, your planner too, it all coordinates. So that's what is nice. So what I'm going to do is I think I wanna pick this one because it has all the leaves, but it has these uh, acorn nuts. We have a lot of acorn nuts dropping outside, and so that is going to be fun for me to see. And I think this will be a pretty inside. So we're gonna try this. We've only done white before, but now we're gonna try and use a little color. So let me grab my paper trimmer here, and the first thing I wanna do is trim off uh, this little strip here. I want to keep it 12 by 12 
you know, ish, right? Trim off that strip right there because we don't want that. And here we have our paper. So this will be the inside and this will be the outside. I think that will look nice. Very fall, right? Very fallish. So the Happy Planner pages and how I cut these, they're, the dimensions are seven by nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter is the length, is the how, how tall it is. So I'm going to print this. I'm gonna go this way because this is gonna be the length of it. So if my planner were sitting sideways here, I'm gonna cut this at nine and a quarter. So I'm gonna line that up there just trim this piece off and I'm gonna keep this piece because I'll be using that later and now I have my piece cut right here I also have a paper scorer here you don't need to use this but I have it so I'm going to use it and while the length is nine and a quarter so you can see it's nine and a quarter here's my length I want to fold it over at the seven inch side so that it fits within my happy planner so I'm just gonna give it a little score line here um, right there just to make it a little easier to fold and now I can take this and fold it right on that fold and use my bone folder to crease it out and here we have it look at that oh yeah that's super cute oh my gosh this is gonna look so cute in the planner so I need to cut one more piece I forgot to do it so on my summer bucket list I have this cut but then I have this edge over here that I put from that extra piece and so I'm going to cut a one inch piece from here so we are going to go to one inch and uh, cut this down perfect and then I need this to fit at nine and a quarter so we are going to cut nine and a quarter going this way and we shall be golden right there we go okay now we're done I'm gonna take my tape runner here and we will cross our fingers that I have enough tape and I'm going to tape this right to here so I like the way that looks or do I like the way this looks I kind of like this because it's very white at this end and it looks like the pattern's flowing this way. So let's do it that way. Okay, I ran out of my tape runner so I had to grab another one and then I also grabbed my punch because we'll be using that here in just a moment. Let's get this onto here how we want it. And I made sure I got the tape all the way to the edges Sometimes it helps, which is what I ended up doing, is putting a piece of paper on your desk so that you don't get the tape all over your desk. And, well, here we go. That's what we're gonna like. Oh, that looks nice, that looks nice. I might have to trim just this a little bit, which is no big deal. Because the tape's kind of coming out on the edge. Just give it a little, just a little trim. And uh, we're good. Let me go ahead and punch this with my Happy Planner punch. Yes, we are ready for action. So I have this fall sticker book from Happy Planner. And what I like about this, there was one for each season. This was a few years back, but they have a lot of fall sticker books now, which is really fun. Um, but not only are there really cute stickers, but there are alphabets in here. And we have kind of a blue tone, blue green, and then we have this orange into yellow, the red into yellow, which is really pretty. But this is where I'm also getting my bucket list items from. So I have two sheets to go through. The first thing I want to do though is put the letters down to spell out bucket list. And I'm wondering if these letters will show up enough, but it's okay if it's kind of hidden a little bit because I kind of like that. All we can do is try, right? So let's grab a B. So it looks like there's three-ish, well, maybe some for more for some, but let's try this. So we should start right about here. I think that I will like this. I 
think that'll look good. Let's just go with it. Okay. Oh, you know, I think I like that. Now, it's hard to see, <laughs> but I like that it's kind of hidden in there. It's not like in your face. Okay, that looks really cool. Let's see what we can get into next. So I wanna give it a little decoration inside before I lay my boxes down. My boxes are going to be white in the center, so those will be really pronounced. I'm kind of enjoying these leaves here, especially since I made these kind of go way into it. And I think I wanna do that. I wanna try that. So I wanna put a little something up here for decor so that it peeks through. And I wanna start it a little bit here and then go into the corner. Um, let me go ahead and just lay a corner leaf here first. I'm not sure how this is gonna show up, but this is a really, really beautiful coppery sticker. It just kind of shows like, okay, you, you can't see it, look. But you can if you go like that. Uh, that's really, really super cool, I think. I think this one, uh, you might be able to see more. I'm gonna put this right at the top here so it peeks through like so. And uh, I'm just going to kind of um, just put these all around. Okay, oh my gosh, that looks really pretty. So look at that. It looks like I just gilded my page, doesn't it? Look, oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna save these few just in case I need to use them later. Let's get our boxes together. So I tend to put about 10 bucket list items on here. So I'm going to just place down 10 boxes and I'm gonna use these boxes so let me go with the larger ones first and i'm just going to start placing and one thing i want to make sure is i don't place it over this line here so so right about there but i can put one right here and you just kind of place them and go see what happens Okay, I have my bucket list items here. Now, we're in fall, which means a lot of things are happening. We have all the fall goodness happening. We have Halloween happening. We have Thanksgiving happening. So I want to try to encompass all of the things in my one bucket list. Now, it doesn't mean I won't make a separate bucket list at Halloween because I have some Halloween paper I want to use, but <laughs> we will just go with this. We will just go with this. You know, I see this one right here, and I want to start right off the bat visit a pumpkin patch yeah that would be fun right one thing nice about creating a bucket list is it kind of sets it in your mind you know to do some stuff <laughs> let's do these things so yeah visit a pumpkin patch that would be fun you know what else i'd like to do i'd like to carve a pumpkin pumpkin carving's fun very halloweenishy thing to do let's put it in here now i know these go over the boxes a little bit but I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay, already I'm enjoying what's happening here. Let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, decorate for fall. That's, that's definitely something I want to do. Let's put this right here. Decorate for fall. Yes. I can move these boxes around a little bit too if I need to, but that would definitely be fun. Oh, big pumpkin bread? Yes, please. So they have two here. There's bake pumpkin bread and bake a pie. I have this pumpkin nut muffin recipe that I like to use. That's kind of like pumpkin bread, right? Let's put that right here. Yes. Look at all the pumpkin-y things happening. Already enjoying this. Already enjoying this. I wonder if I should look on the next page. Let's see what else is over here. We don't want to read, we don't want to do all of the things on that page and then forget there's a whole other page over here. <gasps> Have a family game night! Oh my gosh, our favorite thing to do. So at Thanksgiving time, our boys are coming here. We'll have Holly here because she lives here, but the boys are coming 
and I'm so excited and we will definitely have family game night and I look forward to that. Oh my gosh, that'll be so much fun. So let's see, there's two read a books here. One is read a book, one is read Halloween books. Let's do that. Let's make it Halloween. Let's do the Halloween books because I do want to have some Halloween items going on in here. Let's put it right here. Halloween, this is kind of this, you know, fall red color. Read Halloween books. So what's a good Halloween book? Do you have any suggestions? I have the series from Alice Hoffman about practical magic. I have all four books. I would like to start reading them from the very beginning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. So that would be a good Halloween book to read, I think. I know it's not about Halloween, but it's definitely a Halloween book. Definitely a Halloween book. Oh, go to a fall festival. Let's do that. See, some of these things are similar because the pumpkin patch, this says go apple picking, but we do that at the pumpkin patch. Let's go to the fall festival right here. Yes. That would be fun. October is gonna be so much fun. So much fun. Um, oh, this could be good to start holiday shopping. That is a huge thing I do, and I don't know if it'll fit in that box. This is a huge thing because it's Black Friday. I love Black Friday. I'm gonna use this green box because it's green like Christmas. Look, it fits. It fits perfectly. See, don't be afraid to completely fill the box. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, this is fun. This is fun. What else do we have over here? Oh, let's buy Halloween candy. See, I wanna get all of the holidays in here. Let's put this one right here. Buy Halloween candy, yes. Okay, we have one more, one more, one more. Right here. So we have pumpkin breads, we're baking, we're going to a pumpkin patch, we're carving a pumpkin, we're reading Halloween books, and we're buying Halloween candy. So we've got a lot of Halloween over here. Decorate for fall, go to fall festival, game night, start holiday shopping. Okay, okay, okay. I want to do all these things. Every single one of them. Give thanks. That, that doesn't feel like a bucket list item though, but it's nice. I could put that up here like a Thanksgiving-y thing, right? Um, oh. Take family photos or roast pumpkin seeds. <laughs> We will definitely take family photos, but let's roast some of them pumpkin seeds. Yes, okay, this is super fun. Let me get some, uh, where's my dots at? I'm gonna put some of these dots next to it so that we can check them off when we do them. I could put each color by it, or I could just put one, let's put each color by the right color. Let's just go matchy matchy. So let's put the dot right here. I should put the dot after I decorate though because last time I think I had to move some of my dots around. So you can't even see that dot. That's okay. Put that dot here. What if I need to put the pumpkin there? Let me go grab some decor first. We'll put the dots afterwards. Okay, I have a few books here. <laughs> so this is the part that tends to take a little while is when you're looking for the stickers to go with you know, what you chose to do. So I have a few books here and I will let you know what they are as I go. But um, generally it's just you go through all your books and see what you come up with. And it doesn't have to be perfect, uh, just whatever works in terms of your mind at the moment. So decorate for fall. I found this cute little wreath here and I'm gonna put it right here. Cause look, I just left that space. So it's kind of cute, right? Decorate for fall, bam. And uh, this was one of, oh, that was the same fall book that I've been using, so that's nice. I'll probably come back to that book too. So, oh, I was looking at this possibly for Decorate for Fall because it had this candle here. I kind of like that. Let me hold it off to the side 
because I'm not sure if I need it now. Oh, look at this fun book. This is one of my favorite books Happy Planner ever came out with, and it's a Halloween and Dia de los Muertos book. This came out, um, I wanna say it was last year. Love this book. But check out this crazy candy. <laughs> It's all kind of neon and it's it's gonna have a black edging on it so it's a clear ish it's not really clear but it's a clearish sticker but it's very Halloween like look look oh my gosh that's so cute let's put another one yeah I like this uh, I'm gonna put if I put this here then I can put this one down at the bottom because it's a little different and I think it'll look cute by Halloween candy. Yes. Oh, this one's better. Let's do that. This one's kind of big. There's a smaller one. Let's do that. I'm just going to go out to the side with it. Seems fun to me. You know what? While I'm on this page, carve a pumpkin. I didn't find a carved pumpkin, but right here, look, there is one. Let's, let's do something with this sticker. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Um, I could cut that end off. Yeah, let's do that. I was considering keeping it on, but we'll just cut it off um, and it'll be fine. Boom. And we're gonna set it right on top of here. So I know these clearish stickers, they kind of blend into the background, but I kind of like it. Oh, so here we have Family Game Night. So this is from the family book. I bought this book specifically for the game stickers. We're gonna put these over here. I'm wondering though, the board game sticker is kind of big. I like the dice. The dice are fun. Is the board game sticker too big? I don't know, I kind of like it. The whole reason I got it is to use this fun board game sticker. <laughs> we play board games more than cards. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's one of those kind of stickers. Um, you know what I might do? I wonder if I can cut it. Start it at the top and finish it at the bottom. Let's do that. So I'm gonna cut it right here after the curve because I wanna show it curving. Um, how far into the curve do I wanna go? It's hard to tell, hard to tell. I think I'll go right to here. So I'm gonna cut it right here. It's just a sticker. We can do this. Okay, and we're gonna run this top sticker. Uh, I'm enjoying this, right like so right to where it says, have a family. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You know what? I can run, I can do the same with the bottom here. I don't even need this middle part, right? Um, I'm gonna cut this at the brown piece here too, as the curve happens. And then we'll run this right here from night. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, we made something fun happen. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. Have a family game night. Favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh, I want to put the dice too. Might be too much. Okay. Oh, look at this one. So this is uh, Happy Planner's newest um, seasonal sticker book. Well, in terms of happy holidays, it has both Thanksgiving and Christmas time. So it has both fall and winter in here. And look at these people shopping. Start holiday shopping. Which one am I? I'm kind of this person here <laughs> with all the presents because it's shopping. It's not about the tree. It's about the shopping. Look at her red coat. I love that red coat she's wearing too. We're gonna put it right here. Yes, oh my gosh. This is super fun. Okay, so we did that. Oh, and I picked, pulled out one of my food books because I said bake pumpkin bread. It would have been a lot easier had I said bake a pie because there's a lot of pies in all the books. No pumpkin bread. But I did mention I have a pumpkin nut muffin and I know this is a cupcake, but if you were to put like a cream cheese frosting on my pumpkin nut muffin, it kind of would work. Had just a little trouble getting that sticker out of there. I'm gonna put this right here. It's it's hidden. <laughs> we all know what that is. We all know what that is. Kind of want to put another one just just because. 
This one has some sparkles. Let's put this one on top like this. That's okay, they're all hidden. They're not really, uh, it's not really pumpkin bread anyway. So we need visit a pumpkin patch, roast pumpkin seeds, go to a fall festival and read some Halloween books. Okay, back to the sticker books. I can't believe I found yet another fall book. This is called Seasonal Fall from Happy Planner. And look, there's a book in it. <laughs> and it's black for read Halloween books. So let's do that. Let's do this one that has the uh, kind of the mustard color cup of tea going on. It's kind of a big sticker. I'll probably lose it in here, but I've kind of gone this route, so let's just keep rolling with it. Once upon a time. Yes. Read Halloween books. So I have the cup is sitting right on top. That looks really cute. There was also, this is a really cute sticker book actually, but I also saw something else in here that I may want to use. Look at this turkey. Is it too much? Because I know it's for Thanksgiving. Might be too much, but I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so back into the Happy Holly Yays book. Uh, we have some really cute girls here. So this one's here, sitting in her really cute chair, drinking coffee or tea. She's got some books here, and you know, decorate for fall. Let's uh, let's continue this here. I just let her sit with that. Let's see if I can pull it up and put the books kind of on here. So she's kind of she's kind of there with all that. She's blending in, but you know, I like it. I like it. And I really like this girl here too, because look at her. Doesn't she look like she's going to a fall festival? She totally does. I'm gonna move this sticker over a little bit so that it doesn't hit the corner here or where it's folded rather. So let's just do that. Let's kind of move it up and over just a touch so we can put her with it. I'm gonna set her on the sticker a bit. There we go, go to a fall festival. Yes, okay, now we need some pumpkins. So this set of pumpkins kind of works with Visit a Pumpkin Patch, even though it'll blend in to the background, but I kind of like the way that looks. Roast pumpkin seeds. Okay, that's where we're at now. There's no way I'm finding seeds in here, but let's put this little pumpkin up here with it, right like that. Okay, that's really cute. I'm gonna pull out the Halloween book again. This book is ginormous. Um, I'm just gonna put uh, a little spider. Let's take this guy just to help, you know, Spook it up just a touch. There, that fills the space out a little bit. Ooh, let's put uh, let's put a bat on here. I don't know, it's on a black clear, so we'll see. But we'll put a bat right here, just to kind of fill this space right here. Kind of, this is turned into like a little Halloween section. We'll give it two bats. Okay, perfect. And now we will finish putting our dots in. So I have a red dot there. I'm kind of wondering if I should just do all yellow because I cannot see this red dot. So let me take that off of there. Did I put any others? I put one yellow. Isn't that where I stopped? I think so. Let's put all yellow so that at least I can see these dots. Are there 10? Yes, exactly. Decorate for fall here. Yes, okay, oh my gosh. <gasps> Actually, there's just one last thing I need to do. I want to put something about fall right at the top here. So I think this hello fall will work so that we know it's fall bucket list. But I think I need to move. Oh my gosh, this could be a problem. Let's see if this can move. If not, we will leave it there. Okay, that guy picked up. Let's see if we can move this guy. Okay, let's keep those there for just a second. Let's pick this up. I may need to cut this in half, but we'll see, we'll see. So hello fall, I could lay it right here. That's good, yes. Let's put this guy right here because you can see that one better. 
And then we don't need to use, do we need to use this one? No, let's keep this one off. Okay, I think we are done and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Oh my gosh, look. So here it's closed and it says bucket list. Um, but you can't really see it too well unless you're really looking at it, which I kind of like that. And when you open it, it's like all this weird spooky fullness going on. And then all these crazy leaves. <laughs> I like this. Oh my gosh. Let me know down below uh, what plans are you looking forward to this fall. I'm really excited about the weather changing and all of the leaves changing colors and all of the fall activities. I am so excited about doing everything and I'm excited to... Uh, check some of these items off on my bucket list for fall. Oh my gosh, it's super, super fun. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you in my vi next video. Bye.